Good morning from St. Augustine, Florida. We're here today because the Pirate Museum out here actually invited us out to see all of the different pirate offerings that there are available here in St. Augustine. So who's ready for a very pirate filled day? As a side note, uh, they did invite us out. So most of the stuff that we're gonna be doing today will be provided to us for free, but let's go check it out. First stop is the Pirate Museum. Yarg, welcome to the St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum. Pretty excited about the treasure stuff. That's the type of stuff that I really enjoy seeing. We get to come inside and unleash our pirate soul. Here we go, we've got our map, and now we are heading in. And they did give us a little bit of information before we came in. They said that they have some real pirate artifacts in here, one of which being one of three surviving Jolly Rogers, original Jolly Rogers, owned by pirates or flown by pirates, and a real treasure chest that was actually owned by a pirate. Well, this is actually really impressive. Look at the theming inside of here. A little section on navigation right here. Wow, this would be like where I would sit to look at a map. Oh, also there's a treasure hunt. They said any drawer that has a skull and crossbones on it, open it up. So our very first thing that we found is a charting kit from 1690. So we're gonna write that in our box there. They said that this museum has over 800 genuine artifacts and I believe that all of these are genuine. These are different pistols and blunderbuss from the 1700s and the 18th century. 18th century cutlasses. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. They have a display here with a pirate doctor. Look, there's a peg leg right there. Also, this is, this is pretty intense. They're pulling out this guy's eyeball. Why? Why are they pulling out his eyeball? I like how they show his anesthesia just a bottle of rum and biting down on this strap. Oh, this is pretty interesting. They have a display of what some archeologists here in St. Augustine have found. Look at that. All rum out. So this is all like rum stuff? Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Also, there's another drawer here with a, with a skull and crossbones on it. I have to look inside. Ooh, games of chance, a 19th century game box. They have a thing that works like a touch screen. Whoa, look at that. Oh, and we can learn about all of the different pirates here. Well, that's pretty interesting. Calico Jack had two women on his crew. The person who founded this museum found Sir Francis Drake's treasure. Here is a piece of scuttled timber that they have to keep in water or in some sort of preserving liquid so that it doesn't disintegrate. And this is just a model of what it looked like underwater. What's left of the ship. Here's the model of Sir Francis Drake's ship, the Elizabeth. They have Sir Francis Drake meeting Robert Searless and they have all the different artifacts in there as if they're using them in this display. That is amazing. And then there's a little sign over here that shows you what all is an artifact. They have some pirate specialty drinks down here. I like this one. The Kill Devil, Blackbeard's favorite drink, rum laced with gunpowder, a deadly drink said to kill the devil himself. Why would that be your favorite drink? Now we're heading onto a pirate ship here, heading into the main deck. And we can go to the captain's cabin, below deck, or the gun deck. Let's head into the captain's cabin. There it is. A Jolly Roger from 1850. Wow, look at that. It's seen some days, hasn't it? Here's another display of a pirate sleeping with, oh, look at he's breathing in and out. But he's sleeping with his gun just in case. You can see he's missing a finger over there. He's also missing a leg. He's got his peg leg still on while he's sleeping. Just in case, just in case somebody comes in tries to get him, he's sleeping with one eye open. This is a Mariner's Magazine from 1669. Wow. So this says this is the Journal of Captain Kidd's Last Voyage from 1699. Wow. That is amazing. Captain Kidd's chest. This says this late 1600s chest was attributed to the infamous Captain William Kidd. So there's, you can see a false bottom inside of there. You can see this little piece right here that shows and they could store all kinds of different hidden documents and stuff down inside of there. I feel like this stuff is in remarkable shape for being 
like this, the Kids Family Bible from somewhere between 1645 and 1701. This is a ship's bell that was recovered and it says that it's circa 1715. And we can see it on it, it says 1715. But also there's a thing over here, a little board that tells you that underwater archeologists look for the ship's bells at shipwrecks to identify the name and date of the vessel. This is a South Indian dagger from the 17th century. This porcelain cup still has some coral around it. So we're supposed to smell and see what cargo the pirates were carrying. Oh, it smells like vanilla. That was good. Oh wait, it tells me here, I can see. Oh, butter rock. Eh, close to vanilla smell. Also look, this pirate is telling us, go board that ship, take it over. It says that anytime that they board another ship, they try to keep the cannons. So they want to keep the cannons intact. There's an interactive cannon over here. Let's see, if we take the, the glowing ember and we light it, where do we light it? Oh, there it goes, I lit it. Oh no, I'm gonna shoot me some pirates. Take that, pirates. This is a female buccaneer musket. It is huge. And then it says, try your hand, lift the musket. Oh man, this thing weighs close to 10 pounds it says. Wow, that is very heavy. I found another one of my little Jolly Roger blocks for my for my scavenger hunt. Oh, goodness gracious. There's a skeleton in here and he was shot in the gut. Oh no, look, there's a cannonball right in his belly. A famous pirate captain from Newport, Rhode Island was Thomas II. There's his little flag there. Here's a flintlock pistol and a cutlass that he may have used. But the whole reason that they have this skeleton over here is because this is how Thomas II met his demise. He was shot right in the gut with a cannon. Now we're going below deck. And this is a show that was put together by Disney Imagineers. Ooh. All right, so we put some headphones on and we listen to the story of Blackbeard. So just have a seat on the crates, mates, and place the headgear on with the yellow pad or your starboard side. Whoa. Oh no. Back onto the main deck and heading into the execution dock. That doesn't sound good. Why would I want to go in there? The oldest pirate wanted poster from 1696. What did they want? They wanted Henry Every. Calico Jack was hung in an iron cage called a gibbet and displayed at the harbor entrance so the rotting body would be seen by sailors coming into port to deter pirates. These are different trial documents for different pirates. And then we go around the other side and there he is. There's Blackbeard. Or Blackbeard's head, I should say. When shiver me timbers and blow me down, look what the cat dragged did. Don't stand about. If you want an eyeful of old Blackbeard, move up and take a gander. I won't bite. <laughs> These are the riches of Port Royal. There's doubloons in there. Some jade and ivory. Wow, here they are. They're burying their treasure. Touch a 400 year old chest right there. That's a 400 year old chest. Wow. That is really impressive. That is a silver skull circa 1622. It's a serpent from 1622 made of silver and jewel. This is a ship's log from 1672. Look at the little drawing of the bird that somebody put in there. There's a real piece of gold in there and you can feel how heavy it is. This is really interesting. Fancy shot that goes in a cannon. So they have this bar shot, a grenade, ooh, an expandable bar shot. This is kind of an interesting story. Apparently in 1961, Arthur C. Clarke, the guy that wrote 2001 Space Odyssey, 
was diving and found sunken treasure and we can buy one of the coins from that sunken treasure in the gift shop. This is really neat. This is all treasure. Oh, look, there he is looking after his treasure. The world's only surviving pirate treasure chest. There it is. Oh, and they have the key for it too. The keyhole on the front is fake. Where's the real keyhole? Ah, okay, there it is. You can kind of see it in the back. It's actually on the very top and it's hidden by a little flap. That's the real keyhole. But the one on the front is fake. And this once belonged to Thomas too. You guys remember we saw him. He had the cannonball in his gut. Now we're heading into the Hollywood Pirates section. Captain Hook and Captain Blood. Oh. Well, this is pretty interesting. We've got jackets, screen-worn jackets worn by Errol Flynn in Captain Blood. They have some screen-used props used by Jeffrey Rush. Got the skull on it, you can see it. There's a screenshot from the movie. One of the softball uniforms from a hook. Oh, a hook replica from the movie Hook. And they have a replica of the skeleton from Goonies. They have the cursed gold coin from Pirates of the Caribbean and Captain Jack Sparrow's sword from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh no, I missed one of my treasure hunt pieces. Gotta go back through and see which one I missed. Ah, I found it. I missed it because I was sniffing stuff. So because I found all of the different treasures throughout the Pirates Museum, they gave me a very special piece. Oh no, I dropped it. So because I found all of the different hidden treasures on the treasure hunt throughout the museum, they gave me a very special jewel. It's a little piece of plastic, something fun for the kids. It's got a little spot too that you can put it around like on a necklace. That's fun. I like that. Ooh, the main drag of St. Augustine is kind of popular today. So there you have it. That was our trip to the Pirate Museum in St. Augustine, Florida. Fantastic place. I really enjoyed myself at this museum. I liked seeing all the different artifacts. I liked learning a little bit more about pirates. It was fun. A huge thank you to the Pirate Museum for having us out. Also St. Augustine, Beautiful. We're actually right next to the Castillo de San Marcos right here. More history. Like you guys should come to uh, St. Augustine. It really is a very interesting place. It's about two hours outside of Orlando. I highly suggest a day trip out here. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.